guys. Well, for some reason, I could not get my phone and computer or my TV synced to do a normal video for you. And since this guy and this lady is headed to its new home tomorrow, I thought, well, we'll just do this the old fashioned way. And so I'm going to just do a really quick flip through and show you the book box that I created as well as the jellyfish art journal for my friend. She wanted an art journal and she'd like to start doing it. And so that is what this is. Now, sorry about the hands, couldn't get all the glue off. You know, my nail tech, she's just going to love me on Monday. But I will show you that next. Let's get on over to this girl. Oh my goodness, can you tell? Don't even have a big enough ruler up here. So I would imagine this is oh, a little over 14 and <laughs> 10 and a half. Because, you know, if you're going to do something, do it big. So this is created out of an Amazon box because we've all seen the book boxes and I thought, well, you know, I'd really like to do it. And so I happened to see a Russian video, no English, all in centimeters. And I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to give it a shot because I don't really follow um, tutorials very well anyway, like my brain disconnects. And so this is my version of it. I wanted it as always grungy because I like things that look like they've either, well, buried or under the sea. So this one was under the sea. And so it literally was done just using an Amazon box. Now, um, I had a lot of oopses and a lot of bloopers, um, which is all okay. Um, because I did learn a lot from doing this. I am going to wind up just making, um, Oh, like a pattern of this. And I don't know that I will ever do another one this large because, yeah, this baby is big. It's almost seven inches. <laughs> it's like six and a half. So she's a big, big girl, but she had to be a big girl in order to fit the journal or she wasn't going to fit the journal, which is why I wound up making one because the book boxes I had um, were actually too small. And then, you know, cause I like to do everything, you know, I like to stretch myself. So let's get her up on her side and yes, and all her glory. So you can see, and I, you never know. So if you've ever played or dabbled with mixed media, you know, Sometimes you're like, well, I think this will work. I hope this will work because you spend days and days cutting, gluing, and yeah. And remember that little video I have. If not, go look for it. And I told you about using glue sticks in your molds. And well, that's all those goodies right there. That's this and this and this this, this is just some pearls. This is just a rope I had. Um, that was the little seahorse from my sister's molds. Hi, sis. I'll be mailing your stuff back on Friday. Okay. This literally is just cardboard right here. This is kind of hard to do holding my phone. And then again, these are all glue molds. It took several layers. I used three different paints. Now I'm trying to use up these um, chalk paints. So I didn't use acrylic this time. I used a chalk paint. Um, I'll In the future, I'll always be using acrylic, um, but you know, I had to use it up. I'm not one to weigh. So as you can see though, lots of goodies. So there was three different chalk paints. There were uh, two different acrylic paints, two different waxes, cause you know, you know me, like if I can put it on, I'm putting it on. And so there we go. Now, that it goes there and then here is her art journal so we discussed this she's never art journal she is an artist in her own right she does miniatures like fabulous little miniatures like she did a miniature of her mother's sewing room and it looks just like her mom's sewing room i'm telling you um but she's never art journal done paper any of that and i always get excited when somebody new is is joining and coming to the side and so she wanted a jellyfish my original plan because I just took chipboard to build this all up, um, 
was to actually do a rhinestone jellyfish for her. However, it just didn't look right because, you know, that happens. So what I did is I created this and, you know, again, I love to grunge things out. Um, but it was under the sea and she's finding it and it was in this big treasure box and yeah. So there we go. So I had to grunge this out. This is um, just some more cardboard. And then I wanted it to have the illusion that water was seeping out. And so there you go. There's your water seeping out. Um, and so then we just did a bunch of goodies on it. Now, okay, again, this is hard because I'm having to hold the phone and do that. So we wanted to give her um, an elastic binding so that she could remove the pages. And in doing so, I also couldn't make them super tight because I wanted her to be able to add more papers. So in other words, this girl can get even thicker and handle it um, without being a gator mouth. So we're trying to flip her over. And so now, I don't know if you guys can really see. So what I had originally intended was to just paint over the chipboard. Um, but then, you know, my mind changes and the journal says, no, no, I want you to dress me. And so I did. I had a piece of this old material and it was in all the colors that I actually wanted to do, as you can tell, see. And so that is what we did. But I had already textured everything, but it gives this wonderful, wonderful feel to it. Oh, I love it because I'm a texture kind of girl. Okay. So sorry, I'm going to get this my table and all the noise. And so she has all these wonderful, these are just from Joann's. Um, I'd actually gotten this uh, for when I was doing uh, some stuff for an upcoming retreat. And yeah, and then of course, like always, I always change my mind and then go, oh no, I'd rather do this. So now I'm working on that stuff. Anyway, welcome to my life. <laughs> so none of the pages are done. So I'm just gonna show one signature. Um, and then this is just a little card that I did for her just to show her how you could do um, cards. And so I just got like a little mermaid tail because I did do mermaid journal. So I had charms left. And then Lorna Taylor made me a wonderful stamp. And so it has my Sugar's Crafty Closet on there. And you know how we all like old stamps and all of that. So I actually got these tags at a wonderful place in Nampa, Idaho. So if you're in Nampa or Boise, it's called the Milking Barn. Fabulous place. Anyway, so I put it on there. And then what I did is I went ahead and used some modeling paste. And I did some stenciling work that she could paint. So it's a blank journal because it's an art journal. So she needs to add to it. Um, now, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm adding a few goodies to her box um, just so she can get started. And so I did want to have, this is a watercolor paper. This is just regular paper that I had from a mermaid journal. Um, and this was from another paper pad that I had that was kind of linked with the sea. And then this is some really, really thick um, mixed media paper. And then these are actual paint pours. So, cause you know, I thought, well, if you can paint pour on canvas, can you paint pour on thick cardstock? And just so you know, you can. So on watercolor paper. So that is what I gave her. So some of the papers have a little more. They're not just a blank white page. Um, I very seldom get stuck um, because I have so many ideas like bouncing around in my nutty little head. Um, but some people have a hard time when they look at a white page. And so I gave her some white, but I wanted to give her mixtures. So this, and this is wonderful. This was another paint pour that I did. And I'm like literally just slopping up the paint, but it comes out great. It was for another journal I did. And you can see I was dying here, pouring here. <laughs> you know, so I wanted her to just have like all these different textures, different kinds of papers that she could pull out and do her magic on. And then again, this is probably one of my favorite paint pours that I did on paper. And so, yeah. So she has lots of these. Um, I believe... There is, oh, let me think, let me think, four, is that 60? I think there's 80 pages altogether in here. And I wanted to show her how she could fold it. I didn't sew it. Um, I sewed the papers here, 
But I did want to sew this because, again, it's an art journal and it's her journal. So I wanted her to be able to take stuff out. And then throughout the journal, I added um, a bunch of beautiful jellyfish that she would have as well. So this one was quite an adventure. It was a learning curve for me. I'll definitely be more doing more of those, but I won't be doing them that big. <laughs> well, I should never say never because my journals tend to... Um, when I do mixed media journals, they tend to be very, very large because, you know, you can't get mixed media on little, though, that being said, I, I do want to see if I can, like, condense it down. So, that is her journal, and that is her book box. So, thanks, everybody, for joining me. Sorry, the video's a little bit goofy, but, you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Sorry, get flips over I promise it's because it's not full yet all right guys thanks again and hey don't forget to like subscribe and share and guess what we already got one big package of happy mail that already went out and I'm already at like well as I looked I was at like 460 so we just got to get up to that 500 guys or I'm sorry 600 <laughs> so tired um and that way I can send out some more um, happy mail. And I have um, some ideas brewing in my little brain. So hopefully we can get this little problem fixed so that I can do more videos. Otherwise I only have a week's worth. And so mm, keep posted. The drama continues. Da -na -na -na. The suspense. Thanks guys. I appreciate all of you. And I shall see you all on the flip side.